We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Tigers and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you've got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. He got the ball, and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big-time speed. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. He's at the 30. Quick out to his receiver. And down he goes at the 26. That's good for a game of 17 yards. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Kill, kill, kill. Check 31, check 31. Nice run, and he's brought down. Game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Throws complete. He's got room to work. Brought down at the 14-yard line. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 14-yard line. He's got an opening. Nice play to set up first and goal. Mike makes it first and goal. job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he adds the extra point. A nice eight play, 75 yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. So the score now, 7-0. Auburn lines up for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And they can forget about returning this one. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five wide set and he comes in with his dime package. And he is drilled at the 16 yard line. Brad, not only do they give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, or especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Red Red 18! He goes out of bounds around the 19-yard line. He's going to go for the home run. Finds the junior. Big opening. He's taken down right around the two-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Roger, 
He's tackled just outside the goal line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Second goal. Watch number 86. Watch 86. Looks to the end zone interception. He tried to force that one in there. Yep. And the safety made him pay for it. Great job of watching the quarterback size and even a better catch. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Auburn up seven points. Gets out to around the 28. Game and eight on the That makes it second and two. 51 Mike. Mike 51. Let's go. Yellow. Quick throw. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's good for a game of the That makes it first and ten. ten. He's gobbled up in the backfield. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. Gains his way to the 43-yard line. That's a team. And he hits him hard at the 37. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he's taken down at the 25. The quarterback threw an interception on their last drive. Let's see if they can be more successful here. It may be early, but don't think the coaches haven't spent a lot of time reminding these guys how important it is to take care of the football. And they hit him in the backfield. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Ready! On the ground, up the middle. They'll knock him down for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That brings, that brings up third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike five, Mike five. Red high. Pressure counting and the ball is loose. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Fourth and long here after the sack. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 40. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Auburn is up a score. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Tackle made around the 42-yard line. After one, this game's still pretty close. 7-0, Tigers. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter.
fires out to his wide out. Tackle right around the 42 yard line. First down. Gets rid of it quickly. And he tackles him hard at the nine-yard line. That's just a great call by the coordinator there going to the air on first down. That makes it first and goal. He gets out to about the nine-yard line. Touchdown, Tigers. That gives him another touchdown to go along with the one he scored earlier. This guy has great vision out of the backfield. Even if a hole isn't there, he's patient enough to wait for one to open, and then he hits it. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Tackled after decent pickup. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. Runs it and tackled in the backfield. Third down. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Ready. Easy, easy, easy. Lock in. He scrambles. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. From their own 40-yard line. First down. He's at midfield, and he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That was a great call. Yeah, here you see the draw play at its best. The tailback got good blocking up front and was able to pick up a bunch of yards. Makes his way to about the 32. From the 32 yard line. First down. Throws a strike over the middle. They'll bring him down at about the 21. Makes it out to about the 21-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. It's second and 10. Ball on the 21. He fires. Finds the man. Touchdown. Gets to 100 yards receiving with that grab. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. And he tacks on the extra point.
UAB, the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Gives it off. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. That's going to be 42 yards. That makes it first and 10. 51, Mike 51. Easy, easy, easy. Kill, 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 kill. Kill, kill, kill. Black five. Quick pass. That's good for a game. That makes, that makes it second, it second and six. six. Three down, three down. 51, Mike. Man, kill, kill. Check 31, check 31. Check 31. Check 31. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Steps out of bounds around the 22-yard line. That's a game of 17 on the play. First down. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Hey, Mike 51, Mike 51. Hey. And he's tackled right away. I'll tell you what, this defense better start to get pressure on the quarterback. They're giving him way too much time back there to throw the football. Mike 51, Mike 51. Go. Ready? And he makes it out to about the eight-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. From the eight-yard line, it's second down. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. is up seven. He's hit and taken down. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. That's not an easy conversion here on third down for the offense. All the defense has to do is stay back, keep everything in front of them, come up and make a tackle. Kicks away, and it's Putsy uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Brad, let's see if this offense can maintain the rhythm that they established on that last drive. Not just putting points on the board, but driving the length of the field to be able to eventually put points up. I think that's going to be important for them to try to keep that confidence going here on this drive. So they pick up quite a few yards on that play, Kirk. Well, that was an excellent route, and he did a great job of holding on to the football. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Brought down to 37-yard line. The Blazers use their second timeout. He's scrambling, and he's tackled. That's the 42. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Third and five coming up. Ball on the 42. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. They 
they can't connect incomplete. We played a half. The Tigers in front, 17-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. I'm not sure many people saw that one coming. This team was supposed to take... I thought this was your lock of the week, Reese Davis. Uh, it was, and that shows you why I should leave the picking to you because uh, <laughs> this, this was not a good selection. I didn't think there was any way that this team would come into halftime and be down by two scores. Uh, nobody did. I mean, I, I don't see how you, how you got to this point. I, I don't even understand it. I don't understand what we just saw. And we sit here all week and we break down strengths and weaknesses, and they, they're definitely better and stronger across the board, but they haven't found a way to put things together. And, you know, you get 30 minutes at the half. It's time to give the, you know, rally the troops speech and get everybody going and, and try to understand that you got to come out in the second half and you can't be flat. You can't take this opponent for granted because you've already dug yourself a pretty big hole through the first half. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Has some daylight. The 50. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Let's see now how the defense responds to giving up the gain on the run. Passes to the wide out, and he can't pull it in. That makes it second and ten. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. Three down, three down. Mike five. Mike five. Come on! And down he goes at the 30. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. A great defensive end in college football just pins his ears back and has, again, that extra instinct to know when to jump the snap count, when to take a chance on third down. And it seems like they almost saved their extra pass rush and extra incentive as far as their, their energy when it really matters on a third down when they feel like they can beat that offensive tackle and get off the line of scrimmage a little bit quicker. And that's something that I think we've seen him do throughout this game. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. This play is number eight on the drive. Mike five, Mike 
The offense needs something new down here in the red zone. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He fights forward to about the ten. That's good. And this is the tenth play of the drive. He's tackled around the 12 yard line. Two yard loss for the halfback. Fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. He gets it up, and it sails through the uprights. UAB gets set to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Auburn up seven points. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. That's good for the yards. First down. He's at midfield. Makes it out to about the 40. Run left side. He's at the 30. Tackle made at the 23. Gets out to about the 21. That makes it second and eight. Check three, check three, check three. And a quick throw. Tackle around the 16 yard line. Call it a game of five yards. That'll bring up third and two. Three down, three down. Go. Mike's. There's easy. Kill, kill. The five. And he got it to the sophomore. That's a D12 on the It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Here we go. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Going to the end zone, and it's coming back out. It's a great job in coverage by this linebacker. He does a good job of reading the quarterback's eyes and is able to come up with the interception. Throws it deep. And it's caught. What a tackle. That was going to be a touchdown. First and ten after the big pass play. Slings it, and it falls incomplete. Number 86 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Mike five. 
Sets up a screen, tailback's got it, and he tackles him hard at the 34. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Three down, three down. Five's the mic. Five's the mic. Ready! Ready. And he might want it all here and does. Touchdown, Blazers. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he converts the extra point. A four-play, 80-yard drive. And they get it in for seven. I think the thing, Brad, that I'm seeing is the quarterback's taking advantage of some one-on-one -on -one opportunities on the outside for some big plays for this offense. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's getting a little bit tighter now. You got to make every possession count. Inside the 30, and he's taken down around the 20-yard line. So with one quarter remaining, this game is all tied up, 17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. This defense has been in this situation before. They forced a huge turnover when they were back into their own red zone last time. They'll knock him down for a loss. The offensive line needs to do a better job of not only handling the defensive linemen, but getting up to the linebackers. That way the ball carriers will have a little bit more room to get to that second level. And they make the stop at the 22. Caught first down, and he's out of bounds. So the coach challenges the call, and they're going to try to determine if the receiver made the catch in bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look at it and determine if he really was in bounds when he caught the ball. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. After, After review of the, the play, the ruling on the, on the field, field stands. stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. First and goal as they look to take the lead. Mike 51, Mike 51. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the three-yard line. to move and he's in for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A six play, 74 yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. Five. 
He's in trouble. Throws it in a hurry. And he hits him hard at the 47. From the 47-yard line, first down. Complete. He's got room. And he's level at the 26. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 26 yard line. Just under three to go in regulation. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Red hot! Red hot! Three! Halfback screen, and he dropped it. That's what can happen when you run the same play. Yeah, you need to be aware of that and try to mix things up to keep the defense off balance. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. Too bad that'll go down as an incompletion because he made a really great play on the ball to make the catch. There was some movement on the line. False start, offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches have a low threshold for mistakes like that. It has the distance, and he got it. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 24-20, Auburn. UAB lines up for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Time's running short here, so let's see what plays out. Brad, with this offense having the lead, you know they're going to work some clock. You know they're probably going to be conservative. It's a good opportunity for this defense to take some chances, pin their ears back, try to get aggressive, and try to get the football back. And he's sacked. The offensive line has to at least slow the guy down a little bit. He was in there in no time. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. He's got his man across the middle. And he's tackled at the 42. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Gets out to around the 48. Well, the execution of this offense has been on display here in this drive. They know what they needed to do, and that's pick up the first down, work the clock, and finish this game off. And with that first down, they may have done it. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a deep bottom of the way. That makes it second and six. From the 43-yard line, it's second down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. Oh, 
Here's the eighth play of the series. This one's in the books. The Tigers get the victory. 24-20. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.